This morning we have some new information concerning the water supply in St. Charles. There are now more plans for testing. We know that and our city Stallworth is live at the Public Works Water Division with the next steps from the EPA. That's right, Michelle and Rennie. Concerns are pretty high here in St. Charles, especially after the city closed down five of its water wells last month. The EPA has stepped in and this morning we're learning it has plans to do even more contamination testing this month at the Elm Point Wells field. Now that's going to happen Tuesday, January 17th. I'll give you a look at what the plans are for that testing. The EPA will be testing in nine trailers, two businesses and three lakes to find the root of any contamination. Residents probably have some questions right about now about what's going on. The city of St. Charles is holding a public meeting on Thursday, January 12th at 6 p.m. at the Foundry Arts Center to give some updates. Now, last month, the EPA said it had been denied access after the city shut down five of its seven wells. The mayor of St. Charles said they denied access because of an insurance requirement. Now, the city has blamed the water contamination on an Ameren site and two other companies that have gone out of business. We spoke with both the mayor and Amarin in early December. We checked every business in a wellhead district and not one of those businesses disseminates any of the chlorine, uh, the vinyl chloride or the other contaminants that are being found in the water, only Amarin. We have remediated all that contamination outside of our substation to the extent that we know. Now, Amron has released a statement saying in part, quote, Amron, Missouri is committed to the safety of the St. Charles community and remains strongly supportive of additional EPA directed testing in the Elm Point well field and that the source of the contamination is unknown. Now, there's a local clean water group that's reacting to all of these concerns. We're going to hear from them in the next half hour. But for now, reporting live in St. Charles, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Thanks so much, Sydney.